Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Dead State Reanimated. It's day 46 <clears throat> and we got some people working on bolts and some ammo, shotgun, 9mm and a Molotov. So, well, at least some people are being useful. Raiding party is Max, Vic, Bud and Paul. Not much on our to-do list. Yeah, the supply warehouse is Lloyd mentioned. Well, I can see them on the map, so... Mood-wise, we probably should give out some special items. A lot of guys are only content. So today Davis mentioned that he found the radio station, the location, and we should go there to pick up the DJ who is apparently out of food almost, so he will probably want to join. After that we can go to the Bellinger Hospital, but well, let's see. Let's first go to the radio station. And we got San Angelo Bullseye. Well, let's go there after this. Now this will probably be an empty map. First let's cure the fatigue. And give these guys an energy drink. I don't know if your player character can get fatigued, but he isn't now and the rest of the team is also fit again, so that's good. Well, let's first go inside and see where this DJ is. It's a small map, so probably only a possibility to pick up a ally, and that will be about it. And there he is, Lane. Are you real? Well, I hope so. You don't look too good. Are you okay? Let's go with this. Can you walk? Well, he knows how to, but willing himself to do so. That's the tough part right now. Are you part of a rescue patrol or something? Well, not really. We're from a shelter. So we're not winning. Well, not yet. And apparently he is hungry and he wants food. Well, we have food, so... And you will probably have to work for it, but let's go with we have food. And welcome to the group Lane. So another ally. Now let's get his stuff. Apparently he still had some food, well, that's not going to do much, but some canned food also, so... Yeah, let's take the parts and leave it at that. And some TP. And that's probably it for this small map, so... Well, let's get the fuel. Yeah, that's it, so... 
let's head on to the bullseye. And see what we can find there. Should be lots of food, so it's kind of a priority. Next to parts. Fuel will doing okay right now. Well, we're using some when we make new ammo, but still have plenty of fuel in stock. Let's check the map. Well, we probably can assume the guys here are hostile. They barricaded the doors. So only one way in. Yeah, let's go for silent right now. And maybe equip some tear gas. Nerve gas. And Bud can equip a Molotov. Very useful. So let's see. Maybe survivalists. Now, of course, you could just leave them alone, but we need the food. And it's a survivalist. One step closer and we fire. This is ours. So these guys are inside. Door is locked. Well, Paul can possibly pick it, but let's check that out. No, not enough skill, all right. Well, let's position the team and Vic will open the door by means of a crossbow shot. Nicely done. So now we can check out these guys. Well, dangerous guys. Shotguns. Well, that melee guy is not sure what to do. Let's see, bud. Yeah, we will be in line of sight when placed here, so possibly in danger. Let's stay here for now, out of line of sight. And let the other guys come to us. That seems like uh, the better plan. And a melee guy. Well, that is probably a job for Max. Well, could use the Molotov on the sharpshooter. I actually have the range for that. That's Great, let's do it. And maybe get one attack in on the X-Men or whatever it's called. Try a cripple. It's a commando actually. Well poisoned and dizzy. So he will not be as dangerous. 
he will lack the accuracy. Well, that other guy is dangerous. So let's put some damage in. And let's put some real damage in. And use the assault rifle. So we're off the silence weapons for now. But these guys will create lots of noise themselves too. So let's not restrict ourselves. I think Bud also has a assault rifle equipped. So well, Max will get hit. Maybe. Bud should use his Molotov. Because we don't want that guy to get a few shots off. No shot. Well, he is badly wounded, so one shot with a rifle may be enough. And it is, that's fortunate. That was a dangerous guy. Yeah, counter weapon equipped and a critical 43 points of damage. And Max actually dodged this guy's attack, so yeah, he will be sorry about that. Let's go for the hamstring and a cripple. Yeah, that guy is basically useless now. And we got undead, well, we will deal with them later. For now we need to take out the survivalists first. Yeah, no shot. Still no shot, alright. Out of line of sight then. Yeah, there are lots of guys inside. There's the first undead. And a guy with a torch. Well, He will not last long. Yeah, maybe go for the silent setup. We are already attracting the undead, so... Max. Go for the cripple. And miss. 85% chance to hit. That's disappointing. Well, this guy is badly wounded, so... Will not be a problem. And he's down, alright. Now Fick can probably get a shot on the sharpshooter. Yeah, but it's a... And no shot. And this guy is blocking the doorway. So we need to take those out first. Well, 70%. Nice hit. Good job. And 
more guys inbound. I think I saw a Bowman. Can potentially also be very dangerous. We need to take out these two guys. They are blocking the way, so. But take that guy out. Good. So now we can enter the store. Well, I should have said set the, it for a basic attack, but never mind. And there is the undead approaching. No shot. Well, that was a lousy shot, but the chance to hit was pretty low. Little bit of a waste. And that sharpshooter isn't on fire anymore. Well, he is on fire, but he can take an action. And this guy is, well, unsure about what to do. Maybe looking for some magazines. One panicked guy. So we have things under control, more or less. Archer can be pretty dangerous. We need a better chance to hit. That's it. Few guys are in line of sight, but 85%, nice hit. Poisoned and dizzy. And let's get one basic attack in. Yep, sure. I have 10 melee. 85% chance to hit and still the guy misses. All right. Whatever. Paul can finish it. Nicely done. And Fig takes care of the undead. So we basically breached their security. Well, nasty guy with a rifle or shotgun, so let's get the Molotovs. Yeah, he needs to position better to be able to throw. This should be it. Very nice. And Molotovs are well, relatively easy to make, uh, easy to make and cheap. So very nice weapons. Max. I have no idea if I'm in line of sight for that guy right now, but. The sharpshooter is panicking. 85. And last bullet. Fick needs to reload. Well. Everybody except Max is equipped with a gas mask. So this will have no effect. And Max, I think, has the riot helmet equipped for extra defense value. So 
So he was the only one who was vulnerable. Let's see, rifleman, dangerous guy, sharpshooter, almost dead. Well, let's make sure that he is dead. Even though he was almost dead, he still is pretty dangerous. Yeah, cannot reload, no ammo equipped. So let's take it out and reload. And reposition a little bit. Almost dead, slightly wounded. Commander, so dangerous. Let's kill for the 100% and take him out. Well, this is a tough guy. Can actually get a shot off. And a hit. But Max has excellent armor. I think I have over 30 armor class, so well protected. Yeah, let's. It's not possible. Yep. And another Molotov. But the commando, although he was hit by a Molotov, still can get shots off so not sure how that works exactly but yeah take him out dizzy poisoned bleeding and knocked down and that's it for the chemist now i need to heal up well not really need but let's do it anyway And uh, let's take these remaining guys out. And after that we probably will have to deal with a few undead. Noise levels are not exceptionally high, but still there will be undead. And this commander is pretty tough. But, well, no need to reload. Nerve gas. Well, as I said before, if I got the items, I will use them. So, yep. And there's still one healthy guy remaining. Let's see. Yeah, it's not needed, I guess, but. Let's equip it just in case. This guy is almost dead. Well, he has decent armor. And this guy had a, has a gun, so dangerous. Wow, this guy can take a lot of shots. And finally he is knocked out. So we have one guy with a, well, 
shotgun or rifle remaining. Let's keep out of line of sight. Yeah, no shot. And more grenades. Tear gas. Well, this should be the end of the survivalists. Fig. No shot. So wait here. The commander is blocking the way. Well, fortunately, the survivor misses. Well, he is dizzy and blinded, so it would be difficult to hit anything. That's the rifleman. Attack is dodged, but he is making a lot of noise. Yeah, let's go with the rifle and take him out. Noise levels are already high, so Fick, take this guy out. Excellent job. There are the undead. Well, they are lining up nicely. That's probably good. Yeah, more outside, so we will have to deal with them, but it's not a real problem. This guy is blocking the way. And the plate piercer isn't loaded, so... Yep, take the replica. At least now we can move. And get over here. Max will deal with the undead. And three more. So Paul can take out this undead. Short. Nope. No idea why not, but all right. We'll wait and take out this undead. One attack should do it. All right. Max can handle this. No need to waste ammo. All right. And well, the undead stay at the door. That's good. And this video is already pretty long. So we will continue in the next one mopping up and looting 
so I will end it here and I'll see you in the next one.